Alyssa with Vandy's Closet. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I kind of failed. I have been saying that I'm on thrifting lockdown, that I'm not allowed to go to a thrift store before I get done with my death pile that's in my basement. And I'm approximately probably halfway through that. Um, yeah, I went to a thrift store. So in my defense, I went to the thrift store that um, puts one color of its tag on sale at the beginning of month and it's that tag that's on sale all month so I mean I've gone there after the couple first couple weeks of the month and um, you really don't find that much that's on sale anymore so I got some really good finds though so I'm really excited that I went so I wanted to show you what I got so this is my not from my death pile haul <laughs> so um so let's get right down to it. So this is a skirt from Dana Buckman and um, it's really pretty and it's size 14. It has no stretch, but it zips down the side and I'm going to pop tags while I do this and it has a nice slit in the back. It's very pretty. I could see someone wearing this to the office. It's very like career wear type thing. So actually, I'm going to slide some stuff over. I'm going to build up a little stack of folded stuff on my table here. <clears throat> and I was pleasantly surprised by some of the brands I found, especially the ones that were on sale, like this particular pair of pants I got for like $1.50. And they're Anthropology, and their 11 says... I think they're 11 says that's how I'm going to produ produce it pronounce it other people pronounce it different ways so I don't know who's right but that's what I say so these are size 12 and look at that lace detail isn't that gorgeous these need a bit of a shave but there's nothing wrong with them otherwise you know and I have my awesome shaver it's a cooter brand and it just hilarious to say honestly <laughs> but these are nice but they do need to be washed so I'm gonna put them over here to my little wash pile and I did find some vintage coats this is almost positive that's wool so nice and warm it is I need to look up this um, brand so it's Fairbrook but the reason I know it's vintage the size 10 here's the union tag and I don't think this union exists anymore um, but I'm gonna look it up just to see because I don't know that for sure nowhere on here oh maybe it says in the pockets nowhere on here does it say it's 100% wool but it just feels that way you know if you've ever felt wool you know what I mean but this is vintage for sure. It's a beautiful coat, beautiful red coat. And it's like a pea, a pea coat. I got the other buttons. I didn't button it though. Oops, that's not the right way, is it? Nope, it's not. <sighs> it's hard to do it this way. So, yeah, it's a beautiful coat. And really, I got some things on sale, some things not so much on sale. So they really averaged out to be everything I got was $6.50 each. It's a little expensive, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's not as good as my um, the thrift store I go to um, on Sundays, which I won't be going tomorrow. Um, I have so much I need to put up anyway. Um, that I can get things for 99 cents, but they do put quite a few things on their blue tag, which is a ridiculous amount of money half the time. I mean, and sometimes they put these brands like Style & Company, they put 20 bucks on them. I'm like, no, good luck. And they, I see them week after week, so whatever. This is Torrid, size two, which turns out to be, is, is, is pretty, translates to a 2X pretty well. 
but isn't that cute? It's just like a, this is gray and a light pink, kind of like a baseball tee almost. Very cute, very lightweight. You'd have to, it's a little sheer, you'd have to wear like a cami underneath of it. These, I'm, I, was, I wonder if these are like baseball pants or something like that. Uh, they're Under Armour and they're heat gear. The tar tags are in there still. They have this big Under Armour logo in the back anyway. But they, you know, they button and zip up. And they're... So it makes me wonder if they're like some kind of... For some kind of sport, I need to look up Under Armour sports type gear. But they're in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, they have two back pockets. And maybe they're just... Maybe they're just like crops. Maybe that's just, you know, a style they make. But Under Armour, you can't go really go wrong. So that should do pretty good. And this one I do, this brand I pick up if it doesn't have any um, rips or, or pulls. This is Poloni. I think I'm saying it right. I believe it's sold at Nordstrom's. Poloni, yeah. This is a large, but this is very, very pretty. Don't you love it? It's a great, um, it's a great pattern. Love that china blue or cobalt blue, I think it's really called. But there's the back. So, and you know, I've been able to sell these for, you know, sometimes 30 bucks. Not bad. And these jeans, I don't know. I the un, it's unfortunate that the thrift store that I went to is like this giant um, brick building, and it's impossible to get reception in there. But honestly, I look at these, and they just look so cool. So I'm gonna look them up. I mean, even if they're not really worth much, they look cool. So I <laughs> kind of had to do it. So I don't. You can see that. I think it's Arden B. They're size eight, but look at the studs everywhere. They go all the way down the pant leg. They have the original hem. You know, they've not been altered. You can tell when they've been altered. Um, it's all across the back. It's all down the other side. Well, I guess that's the same side you saw. The other side. I mean, they're just so cool. I love these. And they're, they're in, the inner thigh is good. Always look at the inner thigh. Um, just, I thought that's so cool. And I like how they're kind of just stressed right here. See how they're kind of faded? Yeah. I'm gonna look up Arden B. Hopefully they're worth something. But you know, if I can sell them for 20 bucks, 25 bucks, that's kind of worth my money. Not one of those rivets are missing. It's just beautiful. I wish I could wear it. I would totally keep those. That that's the style I would totally wear if I could. If that was in my size, I'd keep it. Unless it's worth a lot. Maybe I would keep it still. This is made well. And this is just a chambray top. Button down. It has all its buttons. Oops, probably not holding it right. But it looks really cool. I like the feel of it. Made well really feels like it's made well. Hence its name. Okay, these, I'm really excited. The AG jeans, they didn't have a price on them. So I was like, how much do you want for them? And they're like, well, let's look at some other jeans. And they were asking one of the associates to go look at the jeans section, kind of compare. And I said, well, I have like three other pair or five other pairs of jeans in here. Do you want just me to pull them out? and you get a good section. I'm like, they're all pretty much $5.99. She's like, do you mind paying that? I'm all, no, no, that's cool, thanks. <laughs> because these are worth more than $5.99. So these are the Protégé straight leg, you know, AG, Adriano Goldschmied. I think I butchered the name a little bit. So it's 98 cotton. 2% elastane, so it's, it's made in the USA. 
and they're black and yeah they have that weird sheen to them so and i think when i was looking up comps for different ag jeans i had that these came up and they were you know worth a decent amount hang on the black logo on the back i think it's leather yeah it feels like leather so it looks cool huh it's really excited what size are these See. Oh, they're size 30. So that should do good. That should do well, actually. 30 to it's a decent size. It's a fairly common size. I should start saying that. And this J. Crew stretch. I think it's factory. Yeah. But that's going away. So maybe the J. Crew factory, the dots under it, might gain some. Uh, I don't know. Maybe gain some value because I guess they're changing it to a different name. This is the matchstick and you can see from way back here. <laughs> matchstick straight. And I think I had one of these before and I think they sold really fast. So, and the crash looks really good. And the butt looks good. So, yeah. And what size are these? They're 28. It's also a pretty good size. I think that ends up being like a six. Oops, sorry. this also a um I don't I don't think it's it's not suede but it's also um, a vintage this is a size 18 and it has these really beautiful buttons on them see that yeah and I looked, it's li fully lined. And this is, has the same um, union tag. It doesn't say what kind of fabric this is, but it, it kind of feels like that micro suede. It's, it's like a suede type material. If you can kind of see it, yeah. I think you understand what I mean though. It's like that suede material. And yeah, it looks like it's um, probably maybe from this, I don't know, 60s, 70s maybe, maybe 80s. But I mean, I love the buttons. Those buttons are beautiful. So I was excited. Okay, start putting things back in here. I'm running out of table space. Okay, tried and true, Lane Bryant, new attack. I didn't even notice that. So we're gonna take a little sales price off, which looks like it was like from a, I don't know, maybe it was from Lane Bryant, but it's like this yellow sticker. I peel that off. I do have a heat gun that I sometimes heat up just to kind of get it off. Not gonna worry about it. Take the other one off too. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll do it later. But it's new a tag. Isn't that pretty? I love the design on that. Needs to be a little bit um, de uh, linted. But feels like linen. It's cotton though. Yeah, I guess it is cotton. It, is, it has a hook and eye, it zips down the side here. It has no stretch, so this needs to fit your body. But I always include uh, measurements. It's size 18, so yeah. that would fit me. But I'm not keeping it because it is to go to sale. Oh yeah, I was excited to find this. This looks like it's newer. This is a Maeve tag, size large. Although I think it's large petite because it's large and it has a P at the end. So it might be large petite. That's fine. But isn't that pretty? It's like that. It almost looks like a collar dress. It might be a collar dress. But I'll look it up. I thought I saw uh, dresses like this the other day and I was looking up. Um, Maeve. And um, I thought... I th thought I came across a dress that looked like this and it was going for a decent amount of money. So, and 
Oh yeah, so it has, it does have lining. The inside, this is made out of rayon and polyester and spandex. I guess even anthropology uses those fabrics. But it doesn't feel bad. It has a nice feel to it. Most anthropology does. No problems with it. Just a beautiful dress. I'm excited. Oh yeah. These were cool to find. Um, these are, I also think these had a tag on them or I must have already taken them off. Look at these. Aren't they cool? Yeah. And they have like this tapered leg. But also, guess what? So it is missing its little placard type tag. But it's orange tag Levi's. It doesn't have the big E. This has a little E. But I think these are probably from the 80s. They made orange tag from 1969 to 1999. But these are the student fit. Made in the USA. 100% cotton. And they're size 30. And then it's the back of that tag. I'm going to list these as probably the 80s. I mean, given the, the pattern on them, they just, they scream. They're high-waisted and they scream 80s. So, I mean, I remember seeing people wearing things like this in the 80s. And they would roll up the ends. The only problem it has is this pull right here. I don't think that's going to matter, honestly. Someone's going to find these and they're going to be like, oh, those are awesome. I need those. So I'm actually going to throw those ones up for like 100 bucks and see what happens, you know. And this brand, I didn't even know until yesterday. I was on someone's Instagram and they're like, oh, Jam's World. I'm like, I've never heard of that. So then I found some. Jam's World. I don't think I would have picked this up before somebody else on Instagram going, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, but I found Jam's World, and she found a lot. Let's take this tab off. But it is cute. I mean, I may have picked it up. It's cute floral design. Looks like an aquatic type floral design. But it has all its buttons. I mean, the button looks cool. Buttons look cool, too. I was looking up the comps. They're like 30, 40, 50 bucks. I'm like, okay. <laughs> if someone wants to pay that much, you sure can. And these are old style tag cabbie. Four, 12, but they're 14, 12. But they're really nice. They're polyester, viscous, and spandex. The waistband has no give, but pants have a little bit. They need a little bit of a sweater shaving, but they feel nice. And they have like this nice um, pinstriping to them. Like broken up. Original hem has like this cuffed, cuffed hem and it's original. Back pockets. Oh, I didn't show you the back. Back has pockets. They're functional. And they have buttons on them looks really good just needs to be a little bit shaved yeah. so I was excited Cabby's a really good brand hold on now make some noise and pull some stuff out I got some shoes oh I'm making my light move and I have two more bags okay so I'll do shoes next maybe I'll do shoes last sorry okay so I found this cool I love the color of it. It is CJ Bank, so it's their plus size. It's a 2X stretch, but it's a jean jacket that buttons down the front. So that looks cool. And uh, here's the back. This should go for a good amount. I mean, CJ Banks does pretty good. Christopher and Banks did, does good for me as well. So, this is, uh, this is BKE Boutique. 
So it looked like it was kind of higher end. I like how they did the thing. It, it reminds me of Knitted and Knotted from Anthropology. It's a size large. It's really pretty though. This is really pretty fabric. So, and BKE I think goes for a good amount of money. They're higher end stuff. This looks like it is their higher end stuff. So I was excited. There's no rips or pulls or anything like that in it. Did I know? Oh, it has some detail I didn't even realize. Oh, look. So on the side, on the bottom, look at this crocheted business going on. Isn't that really pretty? This is all kinds of cool. Yeah. Okay. And these are, oh, not your daughter's jeans. Got for like $2. They're eight petite. They have no pull in the front. They're the Maryland straight ones. And they have no pulls right in here. Like a lot of them get that pulling and it's just not good. But they're straight. They're like this wine purplish red color, like burgundy. So, yep. Not Your Daughters does pretty good. Oh, this was awesome. I found this. I'm like, they did like this twisted, open twisted back. So this is Torrid. It's a size one, so it's basically a 1X. Here's the front, right? And it has this like this raw, unfinished hem. I mean, they, they, they went down like the side, but they kind of have it open on the back. So this is the front, and then this is the back with this twisted knot, it's twisted back. It looks so cool. That should do really well. The really kind of interesting pieces from um, Torrid. I mean, Torrid does great anyway, but the really interesting pieces do really well. Okay, so I picked this up only because of the name and that it's red. And it's sweater season. I think this is ma uh, for a man. It's Oscar de la Renta. And it's a large cotton made in Bangladesh. It's just a sweater. I mean, it could be for a woman too. I think they actually don't make that many women's stuff. Well, they do. I found a nightie that was Oscar de la Renta before. I don't know if I ever put that up or not. It's just like one of those slip nightgowns. Okay. Take this next tag off. Oh yeah, this was cool. Ear yard for Renlin. It's a size 18. I, this was just on sale and I just thought it was really cool looking. So I picked it up because sometimes they're really cool. It has shoulder pads. And look at, oh, I'll just hold it up first. But it has like those buttons and kind of an interesting blazer. The really pretty buttons like this other one, you know, had. They're like cats. Or lions, sorry. And then the tag on the inside is Unite. So I think that's another union. Yeah, Union of Needle Traders, Industrial Textile and Employees. Union made it in the USA. So I really think this is like, at least from the 80s. It's supposed to come from a two-piece set. So, oops. Yeah, but I only have the one piece. Has shoulder pads, that makes me think 80s because they were in in the 80s. Everything had shoulder pads, like even swimsuits. No, I'm just kidding, they didn't. <clears throat> oh yeah, this was cool. This is new a tag. I've not heard of this. I need to look it up. Platinum Plus, I think it's called. So 1X, made in China. Oh no, Platinum Plush. So, but look how cool. Look at all these, all this jazz is on the arms. It's on the back. It's been distressed. It is cool. 
and it's new with tag. This was originally $120. $120. Has an extra button. Cool. I'm excited. So, I'm going to list this on Poshmark. List everything on Poshmark first, and then I process to eBay eventually. Okay. Oh, and these are cool. These are Chadwick's. I mean, they were marked. These weren't on sale. They were marked $4. These are genuine leather. You can read that. They're leather shell and they're polyester lining. They're Chadwick's, which is a good brand. And they're just black leather, like motorcycle pants. And they don't, they don't smell like smoke or anything like that. But you always have to worry about um, if you're picking up like bikers stuff. But no, if you do pick up smooth leather if it smells like smoke you can get you can get it out it just takes a long time but these look great i will go over them with my leather wipes just to kind of condition it a little bit but these are great these are size eight i think they were size eight size 10 long there you go okay now we're done shoes shoes okay so these might be a mistake. Oh, I will own that right now. But they're Canadian. And they're called Next Day. So I need to look them up. But they're numbered. They're numbered like, I think it's like Le Can Canadian or something like that. Um, size 9. And they're made in Canada. And they're... They're leather, so they're well made. So I, I picked them up just for just for fun, because these boots are you know they're doing well right now. So I'll look I'll look up other comps on them. Franco Sarto. These are like a. They're not black, but they're not br they're not blue either. Maybe they are black. It's really hard. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I think they're like that. Yeah, like the tinted black, but they're black. And um, they're Franco Sarto 7. They're real leather. They'll be good for summer. I'll list them now. But summer, they'll probably go then. And I found some Danskos. And um, always, when you take this price tag off, you know, when you get Danskos, I always do this. Do this to make sure they don't crack and they're not dry rot. And these are good. So they would crack under the pressure. Um, these need to just a little bit of cleaning up. I have my cleaning up stuff I use. Put this in this bag. I found some Lucky Brand. Yeah, some Lucky Brand. I think they're size 6. They're leather. They need a little bit of conditioning too a couple marks that need to be buffed out but they look overall they have you know good tread and all that they're not that much they didn't get worn all that much so yeah lucky brand everyone loves those ballet flats and these were cute and it's funny i picked these up i'm like oh these are cute you know g by gas it's not their highest end but it's not their lowest end stuff either I don't believe. And um, it was funny because the cashier, I mean, this is a small um, thrift store that benefits. Um, a lot of what they do benefits um, school age children. Like they help them get clothes and they help them get books and all that. Well, not books, but, you know, paper and stuff. And, you know, everyone that lives in the United States, when they, if they have kids, they know it's not cheap to send them to even public school. When I look, pick these up, aren't these adorable? I thought these are brand new. These were never worn, right? Well, let me get my hand out of the way. You know, you can totally tell they were never worn. And, um, I think they, she said she wore them in her living room to try to use them. She goes, but Ultimately, she couldn't get used to them. So, um, 
but I love the back of them. That little bow detail, isn't that cute? These will go, these will go fast. And um, I just need to brush them because it looks like they have like some fuzz on them, like from other shoes being around them. Um, she's like, yeah, those are brand new. I'm like, oh, she's like, cause they are mine. <laughs> She's like, so I donated them. She goes, and I never got to wear them. She's like, wore my living room to try to get used to them. And nope. So I was like, all right, cool. So, I mean, I got them for like five bucks. Can't really beat that. That's my haul. So I'm going to list this stuff immediately. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back to making my videos. I missed making a video yesterday. I was, I was trying to make a crafting video on, um, what you can do to upcycle some of your stuff and, um, I had some kind of half ideas and then they just never came together. I didn't have enough time anyway. I was trying to do it kind of under pressure. I had, I was waiting to pick up my husband and just, it was a perfect storm. It just didn't happen. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to go back to, um, doing the death hall, death hall pile, death pile hall. Yeah, I can get that right. Death pile hall tomorrow. Cause I do have, a ton of stuff downstairs still. So I really didn't need to go shopping. But I'm really excited about this stuff I need to list. So and I'm pretty sure a large, large amount of downstairs that's left, I may be donating. So so the my next few um videos might be like thrift, thrift, thrift. So I might not be listing much of that. So I was really excited and I guess it's always good to have some waiting in the wings but um i'm gonna get the stuff up right away and then i'll see um how fast it goes okay well please uh thank you for watching this whole thing and please comment and subscribe and hit the little bell so you see my new videos i'm gonna be making them i'm gonna try to do daily for as long as i possibly can but at the very least i want to do a couple every week so once I'm done with my death pile haul, I'm just going to tell you my little future plans. I want to start doing things that are helpful to other resellers, like the difference between different kinds of checks and different plaids. So you know what you're looking for. You know when you're looking at something, what it is. And you know how to describe it. And I'm going to go through different dress styles and different sleeve styles and different, you know, heel styles. Because there's differences. I mean, there's a Cuban heel, a kitten heel, a chunk heel, you know, a block heel, and they all meet, they're all different. And so this will be making everybody, including myself, a better lister. So we can list our items with the right keywords so they're found faster and we sell them faster. So that's my entire point is I want to help people just like me trying to figure out what they need to put in their titles and in their description, especially in Poshmark because your, your description is searchable. All right, well, thank you so much. See you next time. Oh, I can stop it from my pocket. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. <sighs> Maybe I'll cut this out.